Meanwhile, the English separatists continue... Yep, this is all occupied by England. Oh, by England, not by the separatists. And England is raising additional forces. Are they mercenary? They are. Though England does have manpower. So, doing a wise thing, actually. Splitting their forces between mercenaries and regulars. No drill, though. Just trying to buff up their numbers. How are you doing in terms of force limit? You're well over. That's going to be expensive. That's going to be very expensive. So I think England's waiting for their morale to tick up. They should probably merge that. And then attack Kildare while it's still being held. I mean, they're holding here as long as they can because Kildare is taking attrition. Huzzah! It helps, but Kildare has a lot of manpower. They're in this for the long shot. Portugal's got a lot of manpower, though. It's actually losing money. Uh, Ace Fire, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome to the Maudlings. Thank you very much for that support. France is really lucky right now. Burgundy is not played by France. I'll see if I had time and was not a nice person. I would just join as Burgundy just to screw France. I just have a massive spot, soft spot for France because France is clearly it's like good guy France and this is the result. Like sometimes you don't want to be the good guy in multiplayer. To an extent, sure, because it builds up a reputation for reliability, but you can only go so far. At which point you start feeling more like a liability. Oh, we have a battle. This is a lot of Englishmen. The English are ahead in morale. Tactics are the same. Discipline's the same. Combat quality. Portugal has no bonuses. Ireland has no bonuses. England has the combat ability, but England lost. Because Portugal came in with the extra numbers. Um... Yeah, let's have a look at that, actually. Army quality. So they have got professionalism of 12% versus England's 25%. So professionalism-wise, England is the stronger. Uh, Kildare has no infantry or anything bonuses. England does. Does England have their fire ability? They do not. And then Portugal. Portuguese army is at 27% professionalism, so they are more professional, but they do not have the land combat either. In terms of generals, England has a 3-2-3. That's not terrible. It's also not great. While Kildare has a 4-shock. So we are still, I think, in the era where shock is supreme. Although that is on the verge of changing. Once we hit Tercios free shooters, that's really when fire comes into their own. Uh, yeah, this is still shock. See, there are no fire pips at all. Meanwhile, France definitely falling to pretenders, but pretenders honestly are not the worst thing to be dying to. Uh, when are they going to enforce their demands? They're not. And they're not even starting to break the country. They want Clement the First, who is a 2 3 3. And this is a civil war, which they're losing hard. Two months away from losing the bankruptcy modifier, though. Holland is going for London. Holland is losing to Dutch pretender rebels. Is Holland in this war? Holland is in this war, but low enthusiasm. I know that doesn't really mean anything. It's multiplayer, but it's still a thing. Come on, Muscovy. Stop stab hitting. 7% and then he can't. Okay, so somebody is offering pieces and it's being rejected. We didn't see a pop-up, so I think that's Muscovy offering peace to somebody. Val getting this call. That guy is... Don't know. One last two provinces left in France and they're both about to fall. Meanwhile, the Dutch are indeed going after London now. The Danes are in Ireland. The Danes... Why are the Danes in Ireland? Have the Danes just seen Ireland as a safe spot? I think so. 
So, Denmark again refusing to do anything except for the absolute bare minimum while Sweden continues to burn. Calico with a surprisingly small army for Calico. Portugal, meanwhile, still losing money. I don't even want to look at France anymore. I'm going to stop looking at France. It's too painful. England coming out with the really big guns, but England, be careful with your money. 53 ducats. Eh. I mean, I get what you're trying to do, and you've held onto your forts, but my god, that's expensive. Also, you're just taking attrition. You want to split that up. Meanwhile, the Dutch <laughs> jumping on the ships and then jumping out again, just provoking the English. English should ignore that until the uh, Fort of London is about to fall, because then it's a much harder decision for the Dutch as to whether they stay or not. This is why nobody likes Val. He's mean to his friends. Yeah, Val definitely has the opposite reputation to the French right now. And this is why Sweden wants free. I know that. I mean, it's always dangerous to join as a PU under somebody else or even as a vassal under somebody else, especially from the start of the game. Like, I get it. Sweden's a fun nation to play as. But you really need to have an agreement with Denmark to just let you go. Otherwise, this happens. Uh, how far is Muscovy from Tech 10? Oh, long way. Yeah, Muscovy is going to be hurting in terms of technology. France is actually starting to get it. Portugal's probably embraced it already. Yeah, Portugal's embraced. I doubt that. No, France has too. France is not embraced. No, uh, Portugal has. But France will be getting that tech very, very soon. And was it spreading to Castile? Tiny bit. So France is... Or oh, Aragon is spreading it to Castile, probably. France is spreading it to Aragon. Portugal's going to get it down here. Morocco's going to get the tech pretty quick. Uh, England. Where is your army? Up here, killing rebels. Bankruptcy number four. I really wish that I could just say, hey, you should totally be stab hitting right now. Because you can do it. You're 11% over the requirement. See, this is a, a sign that this community is a nicer community because if they were more ruthless, they would have started stab hitting long ago. The Danes can fight England's army, that's why he's in Ireland. Mm. Yeah, true. England's still in both wars. I mean, frankly, I'd be tempted to say that England should white peace Denmark, because right now he's just going to bankrupt himself. He cannot maintain this level of spending. What's Morocco planning to gain from this? Not sure. Probably just allies, which is a good thing. Like, Morocco is doing their thing to get allies. How did Morocco do against Tunis or against uh, Kabylia? They didn't take as much as I thought they would. That was aggressive expansion. No, oh, nope, you've definitely got some angry Tunisians. Who else has been taking land recently? I don't think anyone has. Oh, Austria, maybe. Austria has a bit of a, not a huge amount. Ottomans? Ottomans, again, have not expanded. Does Muscovy have any rebel problems? I don't think so. Oh, nope, yep, they do. But Muscovy is such a huge army that they don't really care. They've got 30,000 men over here, and they've still got... No, actually, that's only about 10k. 
I was going to give them credit for that full 20k stack, but that's actually mostly Sukov, Yaroslavl, and Rostov. Which are still technically Muscovites. They're rough, they're, they're um, vassals. Oop, oh, Denmark has stepped away from Ireland. The Dutch are coming in. Yeah, that's still 70 odd thousand troops. Just let them attrition. They're, they're sitting there taking 5% attrition. Let them. But then again, England has to push their advantage because they cannot maintain this level of spending. And these guys might know it. I'm not sure. Oh, France is broken again. No, sorry, not broken. They've just given in to the uh, pretender. So that should be the end of the Civil War. Uh, yep. But they could have internal conflicts coming. Going up by 2% a month. Less religious unity than 100, which is always a freaking pain. Uh, stability less than zero. That's going to be there for a while. They do have some admin points, and you should really be pumping those admin points to try and get your stab up. There you go. <laughs> and... What's costing you so much fort maintenance? You probably want to turn the forts off. You have no rebels right now. Yeah, you just need to get your stability up. Wow, France has a lot of money. France peaced out. Oh my gosh. France actually peaced out. And is surprisingly wealthy. Did you convert again? So somebody has been feeding France money. Subsidies. Ottomans. Ooh, interesting. And war reparations from Muscovy. Really? Muscovy surrendered to the French? Okay. I hold up my hands and say, well played France. Like, you've still got a hell of a lot of work to do to recover, but you are not dead lost a significant chunk to the Burgundians, but you are not dead. Who's Burgundy's allies? Poland. Castile. Okay. Yeah, that's still a problem. Um, so now, what's the war? Yeah, 88%. So getting France out of that was actually a really big deal for the Muscovites. Stab hit them! Oh my gosh! Stag, stab hit them! Reform Burgundy. Oh, really? Now, that's interesting. Reform Burgundy could actually be really good. Because they can get their plus 10 morale, which would allow them to more or less counter the French morale. And it's also going to mean that they're going to have a very strong trading economy. They are in the English Channel, and they are still a fairly major component of the English Channel, especially if they integrate uh, Flanders and... Sorry, Brabant and Breda. Because there are a couple of centers of trade over here. Very important centers of trade. They will actually control four centers. Of, no, that's French. No, Britannian. They control three centers of trade in the English trade node. That's a lot of money. So if they went trade further and or war further. Then, yeah. Cash. Cha-ching. How exactly does stab hitting work? So you can offer them a peace deal. And if it's... I don't remember exactly what the level is, but there's a point where it says uh, the country would suffer unrest if they do not accept this peace deal. So I think it's like if you offer them a, at this point, eight, 28% or 38% peace offer rather than the 88% peace offer, then they will start say, taking uh, stability hits if they do not accept. And every time that they do not accept, they suffer one stability. And they absolutely could be doing that against the Danes right now. And they could basically, in four months, the war would be over. Yeah, Muscovy just took a stab here. Not sure why, but that could cause them problems. Also, Muscovy's about to go bankrupt. Don't tell me Russia has actually... Sorry, Denmark's actually done this. Like, I feel like it would be really unfair 
to Val if I went and told them to stab hit them. As much as I hate to do it, I have to give Val credit for this one. Val has fought this really well. He's completely thrown Sweden under the bus. I don't think Sweden's ever going to forgive him for this. But then Sweden's also going to be really negative towards Muscovy for ruining the country in this way. I'd have kill Brandenburg to kill Val. Yeah, I wonder how Brandenburg and Poland and Austria are going to be looking at this. Because these three have been so quiet. So quiet. Like, Poland being this passive, that scares me. And that, I think, is why he's been so passive. I think the end of... This is going to herald the end of Polish passivity. Or should I say, Commonwealth passivity. So, you have got the Commonwealth. Do you have any of the national ideas yet? That's Muscovy. Oh, bloody hell. Yes. Yes, they have. They've finished innovative. They've finished quality. And the Polish Hussars, 58% combat ability, 40% infantry ability, 10% artillery ability. Ouch! <laughs> and Commonwealth starting to split their armies. Commonwealth, so, yeah. no longer drilling. Hello. Okay, I, I turned that terrible war into a victory. Hurrah. I have basically been shouting at Muscovy, stab hit you, stab hit you, stab hit you. <laughs> he can't. He can, he's over 50% war. Uh, score. Well, yeah, but then he wouldn't get the peace deal he wants because he was demanding that I give all of my British stuff back. Fine. <laughs> like, there's more <laughs> I could say about this, but I really shouldn't until this war is over. But, yeah. oh my gosh, this has just been an exercise of frustration. I have to give you credit, though. Like, you fought that very well. Not sure Sweden's ever going to forgive you. <laughs> well, they're not in a position to fight against me now. That's true. And, yeah, there's definitely Tis some... The uh, trail. <laughs> there's, there's definitely some anger between Sweden and Muscovy right now. Oh, yes. That was the whole plan. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate doing this, but I have to give you credit for a war very well fought. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well done. Okay, I've got rebels to smash. I'll go back. <laughs> All right. The other chat now. Okay. I want to see what Poland's doing. What's Poland doing? I can't see what Poland's doing. Poland's moving not very far. Austria moving. So, no, nope, Austria's just drilling. England still has a couple of Dutch occupations, but generally the Dutch have not done very much. England lost a bunch of stability. What caused them to do that? England's out of the Danish war. He actually gave extra land up. He did, didn't he? Yep. These three have not been caught. Wow, England actually surrendered to the Danes. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Who are the great powers? That's a good question. Hey, Aizel. Uh Ming is in first place. That's not a surprise. Timurids are second. Timurids are a player nation. And Timurids are trying to cut off Muscovy. Muscovy, I think, have been caught snoozing here. Muscovy in a very, very strong nation. I, I think they're about to collapse, if I'm honest. Uh, then the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth has just formed the Commonwealth and have been utterly silent until this point. They are a very, very major power, and I think everybody is really underestimating them. But then again, he's also been completely silent. Like, I have never seen Helsinki be this passive. Uh, we have the Ottomans in fourth place. A little bit surprised they have not gobbled up Akanulu or Karakanulu yet. Uh, the Ottomans kind of went rapidly to secure Anatolia and then did nothing else. And they've certainly been in a position to do it with the rest of Europe being as busy as they are. Although, granted, the Commonwealth and Austria are very strong and both of them have been very quiet. So they might be just waiting for the Ottomans to slip up. Mamluks in fifth place. This AI Mamluks still astonishes me. I still really want someone to come in and play as the Mamluks. I think that would be a really good choice and you'd be in for a very interesting game. Ottomans a player. Ethiopia's a player. Morocco's a player. And I guess Aragon would be the other interested nation, also a player. And to a lesser extent, Austria and Timurids. 
Uh, France, sixth place. Even this devastated France, still in the game. Like, never count France out. Even though I was totally counting France out. Denmark in seventh. Denmark still somehow Down. surviving. Hello. Down with the English Navy! Yeah! <laughs> Did you just beat them? Yeah, I separate pieced out for London, and then they went out and got slaughtered and captured. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, the English Navy has been in ruins for a while. I think that was just transports. No, that was five heavies. Really? Yep. Who beat They're bankrupt, Morocco? Though. Morocco and Portugal. Damn. He must have been building those for a while, because the English Navy has been... It's been not... five heavies since the start of the game. No, he, like lost, the the... he lost a bunch of those. He had nine last session, and now it's five. He lost four since He lost time. several fighting against Denmark, too, I'm pretty sure. I think those were rebuilt. Because well, there was a reason Denmark and you had naval superiority, is because England lost a naval battle early on. Oh, yeah, at, early on he also got screwed, yeah. Because that was the AI that mm. had five heavies up in the north, and yeah. Denmark just swarmed him. Yeah. But yeah. That is and a good Kildare piece just pieced him out as well. Yep. He went bankrupt, and I chucked him even further in. Yeah. Cornwall's free. Cornwall should is I say free. graveyard number two? But I'm very disappointed yeah. to see there's no free uh, Lancaster. Well, you know, you got to live with what you got to live with. <laughs> you, know, you got to make. But yeah, well done. Well done. And now you got that center of trade, although Denmark got the Lincoln center of trade and the York center of trades. Oh, he's gone. Um, but yeah, he really should have taken Lincoln earlier because now Denmark's getting it. Although Denmark has less use for these centers of trade. Unless, of course, they well, actually they can start collecting in the English Channel. And that would kind of make sense. But then there is going to be a trade war between England and Denmark at some point there. Or now Holland and Denmark. I'm going to kind of count England as a bit of a less important power. Hello. Hello. The French who held on. Yeah, just about. I think you need to take a very close look at who your allies are. Um, because of the... Because uh, they keep Danish... dragging you to ruin. Like, you you lost everything. Denmark's lost basically nothing from that war. If it weren't for the Ottoman intervention, I would have won that uh, down there solo. I defeated the combined uh, Spanish and Aragonese armies twice. And yeah, then the yeah. Ottomans came in and uh, destroyed my army with their superior more. Yeah, the Ottoman army is frankly scary right now. They are kind of crazy. Yep, they really um, tipped the balance down there. I uh, was sieging the coup. White province in Aragon uh, when they showed up, and uh, I would have gotten uh, that province. Uh huh. Yeah, well so, done for yeah. holding on, and also just living through the bankruptcy. I mean, I was watching that, and your entire country occupied by rebels. Like, yeah. uh, these were um, pretender rebels. I actually wanted uh, to win them. Yeah, fair enough. Because my legitimacy was down to zero anyway. It's a shame I lost my northern provinces against Burgundy again, but I made at least a little bit of targets against Muscovy. Yes, and Aragon got shit. Yeah, Aragon got nothing and Muscovy had to piece out for money. I did see that. So what's your plan to retake uh, the Champagne region? I have no idea. I have to look if I can gather better support from Austria and Commonwealth and so on to fast rebuild my um, army size. Because right now Burgundy is allied with the Commonwealth and Castile. I know. Yeah, well I done know, for but... actually surviving that. I, I had my doubts, I'll be honest. I had my doubts. I also had my doubts, and then I saw the peace deals I got offered, and then I knew I can hold on. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, yeah. No stop it? Did you stop it them, or were you stopping? Oh, wait, what? No, no stop it! Yeah, uh, Muscovy definitely messed up not stop hitting Val to peace out. And me. And you. Well, I... Did they offer you any peace deals? 
Uh, it started with um, four provinces and mo uh, money, then uh, three provinces and money, then one province and money, then the white piece, so Aragon and Cassiel white piece, because they got wrecked by my rebels. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> and then later, Moskvi was offering me white piece, and I thought, no. Nope. And uh, sometimes after, then they offered me money. Yeah, I was... And now I get... Like, had you offered uh, white piece early on, I think they probably would have taken it, because no one wants to fight France. I offered white piece before the Ottomans uh, kind of wrecked me, but yeah, they didn't. Uh, accepted it so and then what uh, uh, later it was a uh, stand of of uh, willpower who is more stubborn uh -huh. obviously i am yeah obviously yeah that was but, that was well done like i'm i'm pleased that you're still alive <laughs> yeah but not for long i'm too weak right now i Two mean different I, allies I, seriously i mean some of the allies you have are good but take a second look at some of the others because they've just been nothing but problem for you. Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean that uh, Aragon is backstabbing me was obvious after last session. Yeah. Especially after they changed the um, culture in Labor to get uh, my core back. My core. Um... Huzzah! <sighs> but then, yeah, I don't know. Oh, has Val peace? Val's pieced out. Crikey. Yep, they pieced out England and got a lot, lot from it. Yeah, and I know then... they pieced England out, but Moscovy just pieced. I think he got bankruptcy. Yep, he got bankruptcy. These um, 1.5k ducats, ducats and the war reparation I got, it was just... So what? Right, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go and talk to Moscovy because I want to know what happened yep, there. I'm... Yeah, I'm going to leave. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is Muscovy? There you are. Hey, Muscovy. Hey. So what happened there? Many things. <laughs> Why weren't you stab hitting Denmark? You probably could have pieced them out that way. I was trying, but it wasn't working. I don't know what I did wrong. Um. So were you offering low peace deals to Val? And was it saying... If he does not accept this, they'll throw the country into disarray or something. No, I did it for the war score I had, and it's... Yeah, see, I that's the problem. It. If you're doing it for the war score you Huzzah! have, he gets no penalty. But if you offer him a much lower one, you'll get a little message saying if they don't accept this, they'll throw the country into disarray. Yes. And then they'll I take a stability hit. I did it later, hit. but... I did it later, but it doesn't work. Okay. And then the rebels came to Sweden, and yeah. everything was... I got two provinces, so... Oh, so you did actually get some stuff, okay. I wasn't sure if that yes. was a surrender or a uh, success. Well, a three-death province and a three-death province. It's not much, but... Okay. Technically, I won. <laughs> Technically. That's definitely a technicality. <laughs> But still, yes. well done for, for uh, bringing the pain to the Danes that way. I mean, you ruined <laughs> oh. France. You ruined England. Yeah. Uh, England was on my side. Yeah, I know. They it's... still got ruined in that war, though. <laughs> yes. It wasn't supposed to happen, but it did. So what's the plan for getting uh, Sweden's independence now? Actually, don't tell me, because uh, people will be listening in afterwards. Yes, I don't know. I do. I was trying to spare Sweden, but then he attacked me in Norway. So I got was attacking him. Yeah. And then he was mad at me because I attacked him, but <coughs> that were my vassals, so I could not really control that. Uh, vassals, you can. You can set their aggressiveness. Yes. Castle in but... curb style. Uh, okay, hang on. We'll talk about that in a minute. Alright. Sorry. Sorry, go on. But, but uh, yes, it was a good fight. And yeah, it was a really I good fight. I need to recover. So, uh, bye. 
Well, um, yeah. Good luck. I'm going to go and see what's going on here now because we've got a lot more blue flames. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Uh, which channel were you in? Uh, I was in Geldland, but it sent me in the dwarves. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go and grab Bacon again because he did come in there for a second. And then we're going to have a look at what this war is all about because I know they've been talking about it for a while. Hello. Sorry about that. I just wanted to finish with uh, Mind Boy there. It's all right. So, uh, what's going on? Castle like and curb stop. So this is the Portuguese conquest of Burgos. Portugal, France, Kildare, Morocco, Ottomans against Castile. And Burgundy, basically. Okay. And Calico is already saying he's lost. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks for bringing that to my attention. I'll go and watch it. Welcome back. Which uh, channel were you in? Oh, oh, I, I, I was in here. I moved back. Here. No, you're in my channel right now. Oh, I am. Oh, sorry. Tell the land with Serific. Okay. Sorry. 